Hello, I'm Jane and I'm coming to you from my studio here in Sheffield. Over the last few weeks it's been really lovely to get back out and about and teaching to people in person. And that's meant a lot of to in and fro in, taking tools and machines, fabric, all sorts with me to different um, locations. When you're in your studio, everything is here around and you know exactly where it is. But then it was the challenge of getting it in the car, loading up the car, unloading the car and making sure that everything was safe. Now my biggest worry was uh, that rulers on my big square ruler or the long one would get snapped. Um, whether it's from in the car where it's got jolted or gets stuck in the car door or it gets dropped because it's fallen out of a load of um, things that you're carrying in and out and I didn't want to do that. Replacing rulers can get quite expensive so I had to come up with a plan to make it easier so one weekend I came up with a, an idea. Let's show you what I did. Okay then, so I don't know whether you're like me I encounter a problem then I'm going to see if there's something I can make that can solve it. So as I said um, particularly for my rulers, but I also had a small cutting mat that I took with me. I had my big square ruler, got my little one, got about that at the time, and my long one. So it was the long ruler in particular that I was worried about because you can stick out of things, shut the car door, and before you know it, you've got a shattered ruler. I definitely didn't want to do that. But of course I wanted to cut down on the trips that was in cause to the car. So I thought I'd make myself a bag. So it was a bit for the spur of the moment make. Got some bosel. Um, I can tell it was a spur of the moment because thinking about it, thinking it through, it would have been slightly wide and I'll explain that in a minute. This is the small cutting mat that I used, um, so I measured that and then added about an inch on to allow for um, seams and everything and to be able to form a pocket that this uh, went in. So for the bosel, I decorated it with some um, jelly roll strips, see a bit dirt there where it's been in and out of the car. Here I did several lines of, of quilting into the bosel that just meant that I could fold it in half without getting any creases and it was a net it's like a hinge it made it fold up nicely handles I created with the bosel as well um, fabric um, from the jelly roll so inside I had this green that I've used as a layer of fabric that's gone in there and you can see here where I quilted it on as I was creating the hinge. Each of these pockets have had um, fusible fleece put in just to give extra protection. So this one um, when it was joined I joined it along here um, the fabric's been doubled so got the line in here as well so you can see it's all finished in and then I folded it back and I lined the top stitch in there. So my cutting mat can slide in there. So I'm going to have to get up to do this. There, it's nice and snug. Now this other side was going to be for my large ruler. Now, it was going to be a lot wider and I didn't want it to be sliding around. I thought it might need to have more damage if it's sliding around than if it was kept in place. So either side, I've done a channel here just to hold it. And one of these days, there may be something that I will use to slide down there. So what that is going to be, yep, yeah, I don't know, but it's there. This is where I remembered about my long ruler. I uh, just hadn't given it a thought. So if I would thought about this beforehand, I would have made this 
probably another inch wider and I would have put a separate pocket on here to put my um, long ruler in but I didn't do that so what I did I've added a strap here and that just slides in and it just fits in the width of the um, bag I just have to be careful it doesn't slide out so as long as I'm carrying this straight it's not a problem because I've fixed these here so there's not a lot of movement in there I just slide my little square ruler in here um, because I hadn't thought about that one either but just to keep them all together it just slides in there once I'd got all the pockets on I added binding to the um, bag just to give it a nice finish so when I go to my classes and I've got to take my tools with me I now have a beautiful bag that I can um, use to carry it in and out now a lot of people were quite impressed when they saw it and it's given them an idea so um, one lady wants to make one for her um, sewing kit so we will spend one of the classes helping her to do that um, Others have said how it would be quite nice as a playmat, so I think we're going to be having a go at doing those too. Hope it's given you some ideas and talking through the process, if you need to make one for your tools for going to classes, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it's given you some ideas of um, ways that you can use, creative ways that you can use your quilting and for it to be purposeful. I hope you found that useful. Um, I look forward to speaking to you very soon. If you've made something similar, I'd love to hear about it um, in the comments. Um, any questions at all, do send me a message. I will be back very soon with some more hints and tips, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get the notifications. And I'll be back very soon with some more. Look forward to speaking to you very soon, but in the meantime, take care. Bye for now.